Perfect. Good morning and welcome to our, I guess, Make and Create Essential Oil Tuesday talk. Um, I am Ashling and I am the founder of Live, Learn and Love Life. And I'm Janine from Clear the Clutter Now. Thanks a million for joining us. Um, we will be posting this up onto YouTube and sending out the links to those who have registered to receive the video afterwards. So um, this is the first of a series of videos that we are doing for you. Um, today we're going to use lemon essential oil. Janine, have you anything you'd like to talk about in relation to lemon essential oil? It's one of our favourites. Yeah. And it has got so many different properties in it. It's an, an, it's an antimicrobial, it's an antifungal, it reduces cell tissue damage, it's an antiseptic, it reduces oils if you on your skin if you're using it as a skincare product. It is just so, so versatile. And it's a natural detoxifier as well. It's it just smells divine. Tough but smelling amazing. Yeah. And <laughs> You know, in each bottle, each 200, sorry, each 15 mil bottle, there's 250 drops. And in each one, there's 45 lemons. It's amazing. And that's it? the lemon rind. So it's got more nutrients in the lemon rind and it doesn't set the enamel off your teeth either. I know, it's fab, isn't it? So for those of you who are new to essential oils, um, you know, you might just be used to using them for health and well-being purposes. A lot of people don't realize how versatile these oils are and how you can quickly and simply make brilliant cleaning products um, at home with some basic ingredients. And it also means that you're, you're ditching a lot of the toxins from the home. It smells great and they're safe and versatile to use at home. And um, one of the most appealing things about essential oils for cleaning is that they come from natural sources and when used appropriately can be safely used around the entire family. Um, lemon is safe as well for our pets so that's another bonus especially in this house sorry about the strange noise that is the um, storm barra actually um trying to blow its way into my house <laughs> nobody's singing in the background as janine thought earlier <laughs> so when you use essential oils or cleaning you're relying on the natural chemical components found in the oil to provide your cleansing and purifying power so whether you prefer to use natural cleaning products or you whether you're worrying about keeping your family safe or just want some peace of mind essential oils are a wonderful natural cleaning solution to use around the home um, so every oil has its own chemical co um, constituents and um, different oils are more beneficial for different uses. So some oils are amazing for helping with your skin, cleansing the skin, improving the appearance of the skin. Other oils are incredible for helping you to sleep um, and reduce anxiety and stress. Um, but many oils have several different chemical compounds, which is why every oil is unique. And um, we would recommend always using a pure therapeutic grade oil. Um, obviously myself and Janine both use doTERRA. We highly recommend doTERRA oils because they are completely pure. Now, in order to be labeled as a pure essential oil, an essential oil actually only has to contain 10% of that oil. So do make sure that you do check the labels. It is just like food and um, they can be doctored. So <laughs> make sure you get the ones that are pure plant, all from the plant. Um, so there are many essential oils that contain chemical properties that are known to provide cleansing pro benefits. Essential oils with cleansing properties can be used as natural cleansing agents, especially if they have a high percentage of those chemical const constituents. Um, so essential, high quality essential oils are extremely potent, which means you need very, very little to provide major benefits. There are a few little safety guidelines as, we, as I just mentioned, make sure that you're using a pure therapeutic grade essential oil for the best results. A little goes a long way. Test the surface that you're cleaning before going to hell for leather with your homemade cleaner and um, ensure that you're practicing safe storage. Um, so today we are making our cream bathroom cleanser. So I made this for the first time 
oh Janine what was it about three weeks ago I think and mm. um, it was shortly after Halloween and I had a week or two where I just can't, could not get the um the face paint the face paint residue off the sink it was driving me <laughs> insane no matter what I was doing no matter how hard I was scrubbing it was not coming off and then I thought oh, why don't you just see what this if this works so I gave it a go so what you need is three quarters of a cup of um bread soda or bicarbonate of soda here I have a very large bag actually I'm just going to change the view so you guys can see a bit better what it is I'm actually doing um, let me see here we are so I want you to be able to see what I'm doing as I am doing it. So this is all new to me today. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that, Janine. Can you see that? Yes, too? I can yeah. see that. Brilliant. I'm making it along with you as well so that we can see just how easy it is. Okay, so I have, um, I just have a bowl here any kind of bowl will do you will need your essential oil we are using lemon essential oil and we we will use five to ten drops with essential oils for cleaning um five to ten drops is for mild cleaning if you have a tougher a tougher thing to clean you're going to do probably 15 to 20 and if you've got really something really really strong that you need to remove or really dirty you go with about 30 drops but for this um, we only need about five to ten. This is just for doing tiles and um, your toilet and your sinks and, you know, say your bath or your shower tray. So we've got our lemon essential oil. I've got um, just an old jam jar. I've just popped it through the dishwasher and have it nice and clean here, ready to go. I showed you the bread, the, the bread soda or bicarbonate of soda. Um, we also use Castile soap. So in Ireland, I get mine from Bomar. In the UK, you can get Dr. Bowman, or isn't it, Janine? Dr. Bonner. Yes. Bronner? Bonner? Bronner. <laughs> He's that's a B Corp brand. Um, I love B Corp brands. They're they're just they're doing what they can for the for the environment. They're balancing people profit um, people and profit. And I've got a dirty hand now. Okay, so it's literally this simple. I've got three quarters of a cup of red soda. And I'm going to just pop it into my bowl. And this is a quarter cup measure. And I will be adding a quarter cup of my Castile soap. You can see me do it here. So this is it here. You can use this for making your hand soaps as well. And you can use this to make dishwasher soap. It's an amazing product to have at home and it's quite reasonable as well all the ingredients are very very reasonable and um, so that is a quarter cup of that then i need a tablespoon of water so i actually can't find my tablespoon so this is my half tablespoon so i'm going to put two of these in so it's one tablespoon of water and this is going to be tricky for me <laughs> because you need vinegar and I have a giant one. <laughs> I don't know where the small one is. But I, I yeah. decamp mine into a small, I buy the big five litre vinegars and I actually decamp mine into a smaller, a smaller spray bottle. As well, yeah. Oh, it's already starting to fizz. So that is my one tablespoon of vinegar added again. So you can see that it's all starting. I hope you can see. I think I'm holding the bowl in the wrong place it's starting to um fizz and react and all you gotta do is mix really well so literally you're gonna keep mixing it into a really smooth paste now what has that taken us maybe a minute <laughs> Can I just nice check the quantities bit. of the and vinegar and water? Could I just I check the quantities of the vinegar and the water, yeah, please? just one tablespoon of each. Ah, okay. Yeah, one tablespoon of each. And I'm going to add my 
lemon essential oil now. So I'm going to do um, 10 drops because, yeah, I just, you know, I like it that little that, bit stronger. That fizzes straight away, doesn't it? Three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. It really does. Oh, it smells great now. <laughs> I know as soon as you get the oil open and in. So I'm just going to give that another good mix so that the oil is all the way through the mixture. I'm trying and lift it to the camera to show the texture. So is that visible, Janine? Yeah? Yes, yeah. Just not sure where the light is. Yes, mine looks like that as well. Got a hair in it. <laughs> so nice good mix making sure that the oil is all the way through the mixture and all you need to do is to um pop it in its jar obviously we're going to keep the jar um well, i'll actually dip plant it into the jar now before i get distracted any further can you tell us why we use a glass jar ashley oh yeah so we don't use plastic storage containers because lemon essential oil actually breaks down and um, plastics and microplastics, which is why it's great to have a little drop in some warm or cold water in the mornings, helps to detoxify the body. And um, so as much as possible, we use glass or stainless steel for our cleaning to store the cleaning products that we make using essential oils. Because you don't want to be breaking down plastic and then putting microplastics into your into your home and into the water back out into the universe we're doing enough of that as it is without even in, unintentionally realizing that we're doing it these days isn't that right yeah, let me see so i shall just Check the camera. Oh. So there is my little small jar of cream bathroom cleaner. So um, it's thicker than the likes of your like safe or whatever, similar products. That's the closest thing I can describe it to, I guess, is like a sif. But all you gotta do is pop that onto the surface that you want to clean. I'm going to come back out of this view. <laughs> there we are, we're back. I'm not um, invisible again. <laughs> so this is, that, that's mine. Yeah. You can see there. So it, it, it is, it's like thick yeah. dollops, isn't it? It's thick dollops. So what you'll do is you just smooth that onto the surface that you want to clean. Leave it maybe for about five or 10 minutes and then just give it a good rinse down. Um, it's kind of a grainy texture, it's thick, um, but it does, it lifts everything off. I've even put it <laughs> the other day under the rim of the toilet and I got lots of lime scale coming out and like I could see the darker lime scale coming out of the toilets and stuff. So that was, I was impressed. Like, so as I said, I just couldn't believe that it literally lifted all of that. Um, do you know what it was? It was like that real cheap oily kind of face paint that the kids have been messing with, mm. you know, the little cheapy sets that they get their hands on. Yeah. Um, which you don't ever want, normally want near your body, <laughs> but look, <laughs> They were playing with it. They were having great fun. And it was actually my brother who made the mess, the 30, 30 year old <laughs> trying to wash his face. It was everywhere. Um, but it was, I, I just couldn't get over the difference because I had tried my normal kind of basic spray that I make and it was cleaning it, but it wasn't fully lifting it off. But that was just magic. It was really, really good. And how long, how long would that last for? Oh, um, let me double check here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's enough. It's, this is enough for about two to four applications. Um, I would say once you once you keep it at room temperature. I mean, I had mine for two weeks there. Um, but within the two weeks, I'd used it all. 
I, swear, <laughs> I think it's like anything when you've got when you when you try something new it's like I'm gonna clean absolutely everything you get a bit excited well I yeah. mean in two weeks that's only like two bathrooms cleaned twice really <laughs> yeah but then you've got you know you're not going to need as much once you've got on top of like your regular routine once oh yeah you've got absolutely the face paint and everything but yeah. with the, because the lemon oil's in it the shelf life of it is prolonged oh so yes you could actually keep it good point for a good few months so if you wanted to make a larger quantity you know you could double the double the amount so you've got a big quantity that's going to last longer and it will keep because you've got the lemon oil in there yeah and like that is plenty that did me plenty like i I had a little bit left over after doing two bathrooms at least how, twice in the last two weeks. How did you apply it? I just put on a little rubber glove and just smoothed it on and used Jesus yeah. Jake's off to rinse it off. <laughs> simple. It was so yeah. simple. It was literally so simple. The only reason and, I used the glove was because I didn't like the texture. Yeah. <laughs> on my yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd be the same. But as, as well, it's it's so cheap to make. I mean, it's yeah, what so does, good you know, for you health wise because you're not breathing in those toxins. This size, which is a kilo, I'm pretty sure. Three kilos, sorry, three kilos of red soda here. This one is about six, seven euro. Wow. So I usually have this for five or six months, and I make my dishwasher powder. Yep. Um, I, I use it in the toilet bowl cleaner. You know what I mean? We use it for a lot. We're actually making crystals with some red soda right now. This huge vinegar is three or four euro. A bit, it's about 360, so about four euro. So if you think yeah. even those two things together, what am I at? Like seven and four is 11. The Castile soap is about eight euro a bottle. So that's like 19 euro. The lemon oil, the full bottle in euro is about 11 euro. So what am I, 20? So that's 30 euros. But 30 euros and I use them, I use them for all different things. Do you know what I mean? This works out, I think it's like something like a cent, just over a cent a drop. Yeah, it's... You know what I mean? So even if you've got 10 drops, you've got like, say, 10p, 10 cent. Yeah. You've a leftover jar. You've maybe... You've maybe maybe about 50p, 50 cent in bread soda. Yeah. And a couple of cent in vinegar as well. And water, you know, that just comes yeah. from your tap. Because I, <laughs> I mean I, th this one is 750 milliliters. I've just kept the bottle. Yeah. And that is just under a pound. Yeah. So the difference, you know, you can get five liters yeah. for, for round about three pounds. So it may be that you need to go to more of a of a wholesale store to get the bigger jars. But if you don't have the storage space, then these are still cheap enough because we only used a tablespoon. One tablespoon. <laughs> and the vinegar you can use in your glass cleaner. You know, there's so many different products that we can make and we'll be delighted to do more Absolutely. tutorials and show you how. Literally, these two, some water in a glass spray bottle. I have a high gloss kitchen. That's what I used to shine my doors with just a, a soft cloth. Yeah. It's, you know, pennies. You're spending pennies instead of pounds. And then you've not got the, um, you're not getting the immunocompromised, uh, your immune system's not being compromised or yeah. affected by the chemicals, you know. Your inflammatory system is not being triggered. It's just so much better for you and so much better for your home and your family. Which is great. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Ashley. I really enjoyed yeah. making that. I'm looking forward to the next one. Janine's yeah. going to teach us how to make chocolate fudge <laughs> and hot chocolate using essential oils. Yeah. So next week we will be using wild orange essential oil and we will share with you the properties of, of that oil as well. And it smells divine. I love it. I'm going to use peppermint in my hot chocolate, but I am going to use the wild orange for the fudge. 
very good <laughs> all right thank Thanks you so much it. everybody Thanks very much, everybody. Have a great week.